Hello everybody, what's going on? It's the Lemon King here, back on the Minecraft realm once again for another round, or, yeah, for another round, for another day of Minecraft Survival Season number 4 with the Lemon King. And we would like to welcome everybody back. I know it's been a while, but we have a lot of explaining to do in this video, and hopefully we can get everything done in the restrained time period that we have for this video. So let us begin. So we are back. Recently, whenever the server, I told you guys before last month in March, that the server was down, and that's how it all started. So the server went down. You only get two weeks per free trial realm. So right now the realms are on free trials. And the person who had it up, their free trial ran out. So we didn't have access to the server. So we need to get the server into someone else's hands. So we got the server into Nick's hands eventually. And finally Nick was able to get the server launched. And the server started up on April the 4th. So the last day on the server would be the 18th. Would be the last day of it. And then it's going to come into my control. And I'm going to run it for two weeks. And then we can see who's actually going to buy the server so we can keep it on permanently. But a lot of things have changed since we got the server running, and I did do some stuff on here before just to get caught up with things, and it was a lot of like a grueling process, and I just want to get things done. So the first thing I want to bring to your guys' attention is I have it in my hand is the federal constitution. I typed up a constitution for the realm since we are going to be adding new people on, so people understand what the rules are and what the server is about. So basically, it says the constitution of land rival kingdoms, this document states all the important laws, and it goes through basically how what won't be tolerated it goes through the legislator how we're gonna have the law making body so at any point if you want to pause this video to read the pages you can but second comes the judiciary which will be my control I am the supreme judge of the land but the different clans will have their own realms which will be spoken about later but each clan can also have their own laws and stuff as long as they comply to this so this is just the like federal stuff, the executive, there basically is no executive department. This is just the rulings, how you can go and apply to get a case done, which I'll talk about later, how you can uh, get a case and the different rulings you can follow through and punishments. And Article 5 talks about the punishable offenses, so things on the server that can get you punished. And like the United States Constitution, this can get amended. So there could be additions to it, and if there are, I will just add them to this, and then I'll give out a new book to everybody, where I'll post them at the server spawn. So clans are very popular, and this is what the realm is going to be like. We're going to add new people to the realm. Now, if you already applied in the application to the realm, your name is on a list, and we're going to review those very shortly once the spawn is built so you guys have a welcoming into the server, and then we will add you in, and then you can pick. And I know in the... I created the application in the application asked if you want to do if you wanted if you were going to join what clan would you join the lemons the vikings neutral or your own clan and that's fully up to you you can come over to my land my island and build here and become a member of the lemons you can go over to nick's land and become a viking you can create your own clan somewhere else in the world or you can be neutral and just do your own thing because there are people who are neutral so that's like a basic warfare system just how you react and stuff like that and then there's the closing amendments you can't go kill the end dragon without everybody being ready to do so and there will be might be a requesting money to keep the server running and everything and blah 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 so that is what this constitution says you can pause the video at any point and i want to run this over to the one person i don't know who lives in my town i want to know who lives in my town because i don't know who lives in the town but i'm gonna have to run over there and give them this constitution so what else has changed I don't know if you saw there's now a bunch of these, but the last episode I think we went to the jungle. Right? Yeah, we went to the jungle and got the jungle temple. So that's where we left off. Last thing you guys saw. So the only difference is I now that's a zombie. Get out of here. <laughs> Having your nonsense fall from trees. Zombies fall from trees. Jesus. Stay in the world. I created a master farm. This farm is for everybody to use on my clan. So if you do join the server and you want to join my clan. Mostly everything here is going to be public, so you really don't want to build just for yourself. Now, if you want to build just for yourself, then you can go claim land in on this island somewhere or on a like outskirts type of island, and you can claim land somewhere else. But you have to claim the land in order for it to be public, for or private rather, 
but like farming and stuff most of this we want to be public for everybody to use and everybody to benefit off of so we do have this we do ask that you just replant after you take stuff so you're free to take whatever you want but please replant them sure can you take off the top of there do what I did add over here on the other side of the house is along this bank instead of not in the bank because that's going to be a dock at some point I did add sugarcane from here all the way down the coastline over to the other side of the island back over there so that is going to be all bamboo or reeds and we ask that you do not use those because they're more nice um, you know that this is the tunnel of spawn we did create a little farm over here where you can get these animals I have no problem people using these animals just make sure you repopulate them and only kill what's necessary so we want to keep a good supply of these guys in here sheep the only real reason you use sheep is for wool and then we got pigs same deal with the cows this is the person's house that I have no idea who they live here but they have a lot of animals back there I'm not going to serve because they say not to but this is FTBHD's house do not kill the animals so I am going to come in here and I'm going to read you the constitution for you to read and understand your rules on the server here, uh, he, I don't know what happened here, but this building here, I don't think this was anything, this was Nick's house, this is where I built a nether portal that you guys didn't see, so I went to the nether, and I had to get a bunch of stuff to build what I built at spawn, and that's why I said there was a growing process, it took me eight hours to build what I built at spawn, so it was a while, but this is also the mine shaft, this is public mines, you can go down here and strip mine, the way out and I collect a bunch of resources that way I think I can go over here and show you that but that's basically it that changed over here on the island um, so feel free to come on over and join if you fill out the application I will have the application down in the description below that you can go and fill out you can go on and join us on the server and do what you want but if you just make sure you claim land plots and I'll tell you if you can't can or cannot build because somewhere in here is going to be a message board probably in the middle here or on the by the dock because the main dock is going to be over there and I'm also going to have my corporate building for my judiciary like I said I am the supreme judge on the server and we have an office here where you can come talk to me you can submit cases in and I'll take those cases to the courthouse and we can go over the courthouse over there but it works the same as like the United States system. I also one of these episodes I'm going to build a lighthouse over here I might build a dock over here there's going to be two main docks I'm not really entirely sure what's going to go on here, but it's going to be nice. I have trees growing and everything. It's going to be nice, flourish land, and we're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be a fun time in here, so feel free to join. Uh, you can join the Lemons, or you can go over and join the Vikings. I can't promise you that your leader is going to be on half the time, because Nick's not on half the time, but you just have to persuade him to be on half the time. Then you can do your thing. Um, here's the resources that I have collected over the time. we got 54 items in here, which is nice and fancy. Okay, now I want to get to spawn... But it is getting late, which is worrying me to, um, do I have a spare bed? Do I have two beds up here? No, I only have one. I have a spare bed. Huh. I'd like to make, there it is, okay. I'm going to take the other bed with me. Just so I have somewhere to sleep. Okay, so let's sail back over to spawn. So here's the general idea. Here's the cords. If you want to come join my land, here's basically the cords up here. 488, 62, and 1192. You can come over to my island. Just, you know, follow the rules and everything. And we haven't really established, any, like, any, like, clan rules or anything because we don't have that many people on here. Obviously, there's only one other person. We don't have many major clan rules yet, and we're going to start. We'll expand and do that kind of stuff. We don't want to start any wars early on here. Just because we're still getting used to everything and getting people on the server. So right now, I mean, like as you can see, there's nobody else on. So it's going to be a drag getting people onto the server to play with us. But that's why we're going to add new people into the server so they can have some fun on the realm as well. So like I said before, if we do need money, because after Nick's trial runs out, I'm going to take the trial, and then we'll have another two weeks. And then Nick's going to, I think Nick's going to take over the realm. I think he's going to be the one that sets up a PayPal account, and people can just add money in the PayPal account. It depends how many people we got. Like if we get, I think it's seven or eight dollars a month or thing. So it's not that expensive. But if we have eight people on the server every month, just throw in one dollar into the PayPal account. I mean, it's not that intense. It's not that much. But we do, we will need money, or else the server is going to close. And if 
It's in the Constitution. If you don't pay for the server, if we request you, we can ban you for it. So there, in the Constitution, there is a bunch of like rules that are mostly common sense, but there are some other rules that may not be as common sense, but they're all listed in there. There might be some other ones, too, that we don't really have listed, but most of the implied rules, someone could submit a case against you. I'm going to speak, basically, I'm going to, I'll do that right now. Yeah, I'll just do it now and explain how this whole system works if you haven't, I don't think I've said it, I don't know if I've said it before in a video. I don't think I have. Because on the last map that we had the realm before we updated to 1.9, I was the server judge and I opened up my office where you can come in and submit a case and I'll review the case and then I'll go through the process. So what I did off camera here because it's such a, a long process, it took me eight hours. I went to the nether, collected a ton of quartz glowstone, and I built the court building, the courthouse. And it's massive. It is gigantic, and you will see it when you come along. I also built the wall around spawn, which required a lot of stone, which is why the strip mine came in good hand. So, yeah. So the courthouse was a lot of work that went into that to collect the amount of resources that was needed for it. So, what you can do is if you see someone violating law or someone does something to you you can come in and submit a case and basically how the case works is I'll read it you there's a there's a there's signs on the wall inside the courthouse I'm going to show you how what you need to submit what you need to write up the case I'm just probably just set up bed here there's going to be there's signs on the wall that basically shows you here's what you need to write in the book and then I'm going to get the book and I'm going to read it and if I think there's enough evidence that you have written down here then I will accept the case and then you're gonna come in and talk to me on your own in my office and I'll speak with whoever wrote the book and they'll come in and talk to me and provide the evidence and show me the evidence and present their case or why they wrote the case and then if I accept that you have to pay me if you're the guy writing the book a five diamond fee to take it to the next level and the next level will be bringing the person you're accusing of it and talk to them and say, here's the charges pressed against you. He and then you have to plea. You get a not guilty, a guilty, or a no contest plea. If you're not familiar with the uh, judiciary system, a not a not guilty plea means we're going to go to trial, and you're going to pay five diamonds as the the person being accused. You're going to pay five diamonds, put those five diamonds in the line, and take yourself to trial and fight your case in front of me. So you're going to get to hear. They're going to. You're going to get to see their evidence, and you're going to fight back against that evidence, and then we are going to decide. There is no jury on... We're not going to have a jury on here unless there is a case that involves someone getting possibly getting banned from the server. So that's the only way we're going to have a jury. Or if I, as judge, get into trouble and I'm being prosecuted against, then that counts as well. So not guilty, you pay five diamonds and we go to court. We go up to the actual courtroom the courtroom if you plead guilty we'll start discussion of what your sentencing is going to be there most of the time it'll be a lot less than what you get if you lose in court but you're gonna oh there's the wall where am i going but yeah you can plead not guilt you can plead guilty and then you don't have to pay the five diamonds and we'll discuss what your punishment will be right then and there pleading no contest basically means that you're you're not saying you did it, but you don't. You're saying you don't have a way. You don't have a win. You know you're not gonna win. So basically, you're saying guilty, but I'm not. And it'll, the same thing will apply. We will go through and get your punishment ready to go. And that's still debatable. I want to do that. Might do further evidence. But then we go to the courtroom, and then it's just like every other court. So here we go up to the great wall that has been built around spawn. And if you remember what I said before in an earlier video, you cannot build any houses in spawn. No houses will be allowed to be built in spawn. Spawn is only for community builds and stuff like that. So only, like, you can build shops in there, whatever you want, and just build land plots and build your shops. But everything in here is going to be community, and it's surrounded by the wall and also a river. So this is the major courthouse that I have built. So this is what took me a lot of time off camera, building the stone wall and building this courthouse. 
So basically you come in here and it says southern entrance to the realm spawn village. Nice walk around. This is the back of the courthouse and the front of the courthouse is on the other side, obviously. But you just have to put in for a lamp light. You just have to ask one of the either me, Copper71, whoever's in the Constitution. There's four people listed in the, on the, in the Constitution. Yeah, I get it. So this is the courthouse. And I was trying to find like a judicial banner, like the Scales of Justice banner, but I couldn't make it because they restricted to only like six things you could do with the banner. So I was kind of stuck with that one. So if you have any ideas for banners, feel free to send them. But this is the message board. This will be outside here, outside the federal courthouse. If there's any upcoming cases or anything, they're going to be listed here. Any notifications about anything in here is where this is going to be. So you walk in the front door here, and then you're greeted with the insides. Welcome to the Rome Federal Courthouse. This way you have the preliminary hearing courtroom and the supreme courtrooms, and you also have the office of case submittance. And over here you have my office and the jury meeting room. So basically here's my office, my office, if you want to come in and, well, let's, let's start over here. So if you come in here and you want to submit a case, you just come down this way and you come into this room here. Here's the signs for, I'm not going to read all the signs to you, but here's what you write down, you go blah blah, and then it's straight down, here's what you need the book, and then this, and then you sign the book, and then you go up here, throw it in the hoppers, it'll go back in this room, and then I will come in, pick it up, and worry about it. And then if I accept it, then I'll call you in, and you can come into my room, we'll come into my office here, and then I'll call you into my office, and you can sit down here, and then we'll go over everything, and we'll talk about everything, but this is my office. That's pretty. And it says with honor and dignity. We'll come in here and talk about it, and then you pay your five diamonds, and if you accept, then we head on over into the preliminary room. We'll call in the person you're accusing of doing it, and this is the smaller courtroom. The preliminary hearing courtroom is where you, it's a lot smaller. We don't have anybody in here. It's just us and the prosecutor, so the defendant prosecutor. You, pro The defense will provide their evidence to show the person being accused, and then plead guilty, not guilty, or no contest. There also will be no... Uh, well, no lawyers or defendants or anything. You won't have any of those. So then if we do need to call a jury in, the jury will go in here. This is the jury meeting room. This is where the jury will deliberate and talk about stuff. And they also have a stairwell to the upstairs. And then if you're just a common person, you will come along in or anything else. And you'll come over here. And this staircase takes you upstairs to the courtroom itself. And then in here is the courtroom. And we have a zombie. The zombie's just hanging out in the courtroom. Oh, why are you here? Why are you here? We don't we don't allow you now. We don't allow your kind. We can't have you in this courtroom. I don't know if we need more lighting. Now uh, this is the courtroom. It's a nice big building upstairs. So yep, you have your prosecution, you have your defense. Jerry will sit over here. There's a room back there that Jerry comes up through, and this is for any witnesses. Come through, and then you have the stands up here, and this is my bench right up here. This is where I will do my thing from. Then there's the back there which is my office and the jury room so that's basically it for the courthouse here so I'm sorry this video is just me touring around but we were gone for so long and I feel like I need to show you everything that's happening so last thing I'm gonna do is take you over to the spawn so if you are interested in joining the server or if you have, or if you have applied already and if you applied already you could just sit and wait and we'll get to you and mostly everybody is going to be accepted Basically, everybody's going to be accepted. You're going to get you your chance on here. But if you haven't applied yet, the link will be down in, in the description. Stumbling over words. If you want to apply to join the realm, and when you log in, you'll spawn in here. Once this is done, if he ever gets it done. So you'll spawn here. There's going to be message boards and everything to talk to you about, like rules and stuff. And there'll probably be a thing where you can get the constitution from. And then you can go on your merry way and join us here on the realm and fun stuff. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, slap the like button. Let's see how many likes we can get. Subscribe if you haven't already to follow along with the Lemon King and you can come on and join the Lemon Squad, the Lemon Clan. And comment down below if you have any ideas for the realm, any future builds you want to do here, any comments, concerns, whatever you want to comment down below. And that's about it. So click the link down in the description below if you want to apply to join the realm. Basically everybody's going to be submitted or basically everybody's going to be accepted. I don't think we're going to have that many problems to go through. But you can come on and join us, and you're going to have a lot of fun. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see all of you guys next time.
to my